Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Hubson Protocol Transceiver. Now this is a user-made radio adapter for Spectrum radios and I think there's a couple other like the 9XR and I think one other radio that it can use. Um, but you basically you attach this to your hobby grade radio and you can control uh, quads that use the Hubson protocol. So you've got the Hubson X4 FPV. Uh, obviously you don't get the FPV signal on your Spectrum, but you could attach Fat Shark goggles and then fly with your Spectrum radio. Uh, the standard X4, any version, the H107L, H107, H107C, uh, the Estes Proto X, and the Traxxas QR1. All of these use the Hubson protocol. So you can fly all of those with your Spectrum and they fly great when you can do that. You can dial in all your own rates and everything. Uh, so a really nice little user made thing here. Uh, it's made by a guy on RC Groups who goes by the name CN63Bug. Uh, so you can contact him on RC Groups if you're on there. Um, I think he's currently sold out but he, he makes them regularly so um, you know, I'm sure he'll have more soon. Uh, I forget exactly off the top of my head how much it was. I think it's around $30 and free shipping. Um, it also comes with a Dean's plug charging cable. You've got a little port on the side here for charging. It's got an internal battery. Um, I did not have a Dean's plug for my charger, so I actually gave him a few extra bucks and he made me a charging cable for it. So now I can plug that into the adapter, plug that into my charger and charge it up. Uh, it also comes with, this is the cable to connect to the training port on your Spectrum radio. And then a little um, Velcro pad. I put one of these, these harder Velcro things on there because since I already had a bunch of uh, Velcro on the back from like my AnyLink adapter and the High Sky adapter, uh, so I just put a little tab of that on there and you can just stick it right on the back of your radio. And then this plugs in to the side of the transceiver and then into the training port. And then that will, uh, you know, turn on the radio and you want to have it on your Hubson model. He does send some instructions here. Uh, says it gets about 10 to 15 minute or 10 to 15 flights on a charge before you need to recharge it. And then he's got a bunch of instructions for um, setting it up with a DX6i. Uh, however, he emailed me his profile for the DX8, so I just put it on my memory card, imported it to an empty slot, and I'm ready to go. Uh, you can actually turn the LEDs on and off with the flap switch. You can turn flip mode on and off with the F mode switch, and then it still you know it flips like it does normally, where you've got a slam the stick from one side to the other to make it flip and then you got you know all your dual rates that whatever you want and expo and everything you can set as you normally would and i think that's about all there is to say about it so just you know a really cool little adapter and uh, really nice to be able to fly these with the hobby grade radio uh so i'll go ahead and i think i'll take the uh the the h107c around for a little spin just to show that it does work uh, so let's go check that out all right, this is the flight demo of the Hubson Protocol Transceiver. I'll show you how to get it set up. So first you plug in your, uh, this is the cable that goes to the training port, plugs into the side here. So you want to plug that in first. And then I'll go ahead and attach this to the back of my radio. Velcro's into place there, so it just kind of holds on. And now I'll plug in to the training port, which will turn my radio on. I already had it pre-selected to my, my Hubson setup there. And now that the radio's on, I can go ahead and turn on the adapter here in the bottom right corner. And it'll be powered up, and now it is waiting to bind. So I go ahead and turn on the quad, and it should auto-bind. So there we go, we've got a green light and the light stopped blinking and it's auto bound. So let's go ahead and give her a flight. There we go, it's bound up. 
So here I am with my Spectrum DX8 flying a Hubson X4. I haven't dialed in my rates or anything, so it's this is even low rates, and it's pretty. He's got it set really, really touchy. Wow, he's he must fly super fast. This is on low rates. <laughs> wow. Wow, he's got his rates dialed up. Uh, I think flips should be enabled, so if I plant... Whoa! Let me try that again. I think I may have to be on 100% rates, and that's a little fast. So here the flap switch should... Yep, turn flap switch turns the LEDs on and off. And the F mode turns flip mode on and off. I think I need to be in 100% rates for it to work. Uh, let me s turn my lights back on. Alright, let's see if I can do this. This is pretty touchy. It should be good to flip. Mm. I don't know, it's not working. Man, that is crazy touchy. I always have problems flipping these Hubsons anyway. Oh, there we go. I had it. I had, the switch has to be in the second position for flips to be on, so it's off by default. Alright, so now I have them on. I think I can flip in low rates too. Yeah. But man, I just really suck at the Hubson style of flipping. <laughs> Alright, well that turned off the entire quad there. It did not like that. But uh, yeah, I've never been very good at flipping these Hubsons with that slamming the stick back and forth method. It's just such sloppy flips. Um, but yeah, that was the flight example. Let's see, it should bind back up, I believe. Maybe not, since I was already bound. Um, but anyway, that was a good enough sample proof that it actually does work. So pretty cool, and uh, yeah, check my uh, video description. I'll have a link to his RC Groups profile. Uh, he also recently started a Facebook page, so you can get a hold of him there. Uh, so yeah, if you want one of these, get a hold of him, and he'll probably get you one next time he makes them. All right, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.